Hello, hello. Welcome to your EFL class. Okay. Hello. Good morning again. Ricardo, Adriana, Mia. Excellent. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's see. Excellent. So you are present. Good job. Okay, let's see. Herson, you are here. Nice. Okay, let me share my screen with you. And okay, this one is our EFL class of today, our second EFL class of the week. Yeah. Okay, excellent. So let's see, let's start, yes. So let's wait some seconds because it is necessary that all the other classmates enter to the class. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so let's see, eight participants. Let me check. Okay, remember the next week I evaluate your EFL book, yes? Okay, we send the schedule uh, what time you developed your test, you have the review of class, and maybe the book, the review of the book. Yeah. Okay, so let's see, let's start. Excellent. So remember, yesterday uh, we didn't finish the exercise on page number 25. Yeah. Okay, so today we developed this exercise. Okay, so let's see, we have some expressions. Okay, for example, when we have a natural disasters, in some cases we feel uh, bad or maybe uh, we enter into panic, yeah? When we see a volcanic eruption or maybe we have an earthquake, etc. So you have different expression to say or to express that, or maybe that you use for calming different people. For example, be careful, yeah? You say this one, be careful. Okay, be careful with, uh, let me see, with a wall, be careful with the street, etc. You say also, uh, stay calm, yeah? Okay, for example, are, are people, yeah, that they feel very bad and they start crying. So you can say, okay, please uh, stay calm, yeah? You can say this expression. Other one is, okay, watch out, yeah? So watch out the, the banner, yeah? You can say that. So míralo, ten cuidado, yes? Okay, and when you say don't panic, yeah, don't panic. The situation is controlled, yes? The majority of the rescue people say that. For example, the firefighters, the policemen, okay, say this expression, don't panic, please, okay? All is in our control, yes? Okay, so let's see. Now we listen, okay, this one are events that we have here. We listen and number the events, yeah? So this one is on page number 25, yeah? So you listen and you number from one to four, yes? Okay, so let's see, let's start. Track 21. Listen and number the events. Number one. It's an earthquake. Don't panic. We're safe now. Number two, there's a flood. Stay calm and wait for help. Number three, be careful. A tornado is coming. Number four, watch out. There's a volcanic eruption. Okay. Ah, okay, so you have good luck. Okay, you have a police station next to your home. Okay, excellent. So let's see, you're listening number the events? Yeah, okay, we have four pictures here. So we listen again and try to number, yeah, for one to four. Track 21. Listen and number the events. Number one. It's an earthquake. Don't panic. We're safe now. Okay, so we say, it's an earthquake, don't panic. We are safe now, yes? Okay, next one. Number two, there's a flood. Stay calm and wait for help. Okay, there's a flood. Stay calm and wait for help, yes? 
Okay, next one. Number three. Be careful. A tornado is coming. Okay, be careful. A tornado is coming. Number four. Watch out. There's a volcanic eruption. Okay, watch out. There's a volcanic eruption. Yes? Okay, so let's see. Now we discover what are the images. Okay, the first one is this one. Yes? An earthquake. Number two. This one is a flood, okay, inundación. Number three, okay, this one is a tornado. And the last one, number four, this one is a volcanic eruption, yes? Okay, so let's see. Now you out out the expression with a friend, but in this case you act alone, yeah? For example, so I give you, or you tell me one expression, one of the expressions that we have here, be careful, stay calm, watch out, or don't panic, yeah? But you, okay, say with the correct intonation. Me lo va a decir, pero con intonación correcta, yes? Okay, Carlos Arias, choose one of the expression and you tell me. Elijo una expresión y usted me la dice con la intonación correcta. Usted elige cuál. Be careful. Okay, be careful, yeah? And that for. <laughs> okay, excellent, Carlos. Yo protejo a la gente. Okay, so you protect the majority of the people. Nice. So let's see, her son. Give me other. Escucha, miss. Yes, I hear you. Not panic. Okay, don't panic. Excellent, good job. So let's see, next one. Okay, let me check here. Okay, Gerard, give me one expression. Hello. 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 Okay, give me one expression. Uh, but imagine that you are in the situation, yeah? Okay, just say with the correct intonation. Be careful. Okay, be careful. Excellent. So let's see. Now, Mia Rivera, you are the last one. <clears throat> Number two. Stay calm. Okay, stay calm. Yeah, okay. The majority of the people, okay, try to stay calm in that situation, yes? Okay, excellent. So let's see, remember we are discussing about natural disaster, yes? Okay, so let's see, now we pass to the Pictionary. You have this one on page 98 and 99, yeah? Okay, so let's see, Pictionary 98, 99. Okay, please. Okay, turn to page 98, 99, Pictionary, yes? Okay, 98, 99. Are you ready? Okay, so let's see. So you tell me if the images that I have here are correct, yes? Or are, or are the same picture that you have on your book? Maybe, okay. This one is due to my, uh, the edition of my book is different, yeah? Okay, so you tell me if this one are correct, that are the same. Dígame si son las mismas que usted tiene. Okay, so let's see. Herson, help me please. Do you have the same picture on your book? Yes, miss. Yes? Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. So let's see the first one. This one are natural disasters. So what is the first one? What do you think is the first one? This is, okay, drought. Yeah, this one is drought. So you write the, the word. Next one. What is the next picture? What is the natural disaster in the second picture that we have here? Okay, the first one is drought. Okay, Carlos Arias. Air war. Okay, earthquake, excellent. So this one is an earthquake. Good job. 
earthquake. Yeah. Okay. So you write over here. Next one. What is the next vocabulary? Okay, Adriana. Eruption. Okay, excellent. Eruption. So good job. Let's see. Next. Okay, Harrison. What is that? Flu. Okay. So this one is flood. Yeah. Okay. Good. Next. What is the next natural disaster that we have here? Okay, so we have some pounds. We have a person, okay, in the border of the beach. Okay, Harrison, tell me. And then Santiago Siguenza. Okay, Santi, tell me, what is the word? Okay. Okay. Hurricane, exactly, yeah. Okay, hurricane, good job. And then, okay, Harrison, what is the next one? Tornado. Okay, tornado, yeah. And the last one, page 98. So what is the last one? In that case. Okay, let me see. Elias, what is the last? The last word. According to the vocabulary that we learned in classes. Yes. Okay, Carlos. Okay, thank you, Marian Navas. Okay, this one is a tsunami. Yes, excellent. Okay, tsunami, good job. Nice. Okay, so let's see. This one is part of the natural disaster. Drought, earthquake, eruption, flood, okay, hurricane, tornado, and tsunami, yeah? Okay, excellent. So let's see. Now, okay, we discovered what are the long adjectives. This one are long adjectives. Okay, so the first one. What do you think is the first adjective in that case? Remember, we analyzed yesterday, okay? You find this information on page 94, okay? Yesterday we say that this one is powerful, that is raging, violent, dangerous, frightening, volcanic, destructive, okay? What do you think is the first one according to the picture, okay? Powerful. Okay, yes, we can say that this one is powerful. Po, okay, powerful. Okay, so let's see, powerful. Let me see, powerful, okay. But it's not powerful. What do you think? Okay, count the space that we have here. Okay, Santiago. Um, okay, we have, let me see, three, six, nine. Okay, nine letters. Um, no, it's not destructive. Nine letters. Okay, so let's count the long adjectives that we have, yeah? Okay, dangerous, exactly, okay. This one is dangerous, yes, okay, then dangerous. Okay, so we have nine letters, yes, dangerous. Okay, excellent, next one. So we have three, six, okay, nine, 11 letters. What do you think is that? 11 letters. Okay, what do you think is this one? Okay, in that case, this one is, okay, destructive, yeah? Okay, destructive, 
is that. Then, next one. Okay, what is the other? Okay, you have some people here, yeah? And we have a tornado and the people is? Okay, frightening, exactly, excellent. So let's see, frightening, good job. Then we have a tornado and, okay, the picture shows, okay, muscles. That's mean the tornado is? Okay, powerful, exactly. The tornado is powerful. Excellent. Okay, next one. So, we have only six letters in that word. What is that? Okay, this one is raging. Yes, raging. And then, Okay, we have a green that this one is. What happened with the wind? Okay, violent, exactly. Violent and the last one. Okay, we know that this one is volcanic. Yes, okay. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Herson. Volcanic. Okay, good job. Thank you for participate a lot. Okay, Danielle, thank you very much. So let's see, this one are the words, yeah? The long adjectives, dangerous, destructive, frightening, powerful, raging, violent, and volcanic, yes? Okay, this one are the words of the dictionary. Remember, we learn natural disasters and we learn adjectives. That's mean long adjectives. Yes? Okay. But remember, okay, you write a sentence using that word, but this one is when the class finish. Yes? And I check, okay, uh, the next week when we review the book. Yeah? Okay. Excellent. So let's see, when you finish, please write in the chat. Miss, I did it, or Miss, I complete. I complete it, or I complete the Pictionary, yeah? Okay, this one is for practicing, yes? And this one is one of the topic that you study uh, for your test, for your EFL test, okay? So take into account, try to study, try to memorize, and also try to, um, let me see, Check the spelling of every word, yeah? Okay, thank you, Fabiola. Excellent, okay, remember, you, uh, I check the Pictionaries. Yes, I check your book from page number one. No, I think it's the number one, number four to 26, yes? Okay, to 26 and also the Pictionaries from unit one, two, and three, so check if you have complete all these exercises. Okay, thank you, Mia. Thank you, Diana. Thank you, Herson. Okay, excellent. So you finish? Yes, the majority of you? Let me check. Okay, excellent. Gerard, you finish? Thank you, Marianne. Okay, Anderson, you did it. Vania? Okay, Josue Milorio. Daniela Borja, Axel, you did it? Yes, okay, Marcos, Christian? Yes, okay. Nice. Okay, good job. Excellent, thank you, Mario. Okay, so let's see, we continue, yes? So next part, we pass, okay, page number 26. And in that case, we read and underline the adjectives that we have here, yeah? Okay, so help me please. Uh, let me see, okay, a volunteer in that case, Anderson. Okay, help me please to read this part. Okay, read the first sentence and then Adriana, yeah? Okay, this one is a, a sport, extreme sport, extreme surfing. Okay, Anderson, let's start. When? When there are strong storms, people usually go home and lock their doors. 
but not but not the stream surfers okay excellent thank you very much next one adriana and then carlos cornejo this is great weather of them extreme surfer mills thornton doll told me during big storms the wind makes ocean waves higher and more powerful okay excellent carlos okay continue carlos it's more exciting yes i hear you uh, stream surface meal no me verdad que it's more. <laughs> ah, okay, it's more exciting of surf, but isn't more dangerous. I ask Miles. Termino. Miles. Ah, yes, see, you finish. I uh, okay. I ask Neil look look at me and smile. Yes, we have to be more careful, but that that's why it called extreme surfing okay excellent thank you very much so in that case we underline the adjectives okay let me read one more time and you underline the adjective but you have here the answers yeah okay what are when there are a strong okay this one is an adjective yeah it's strong because this cry okay is Storms, okay, that's me modify this word, storms, strong storms. People usually go home and lock the doors, but not extreme, okay, in that case is another adjective, extreme surfers. This is great, okay, great is another adjective, great weather for them. One more time, we have extreme, extreme surfer, Miles Torchon told me, during big, okay, you know, big is an adjective, big storms, the wind makes ocean waves higher, okay? This one is another adjective and more powerful, yeah? So we have one more time an adjective here. It's more exciting, okay, to surf, but it is more dangerous in that case, I ask. Miles, look at me and smile. Yes, we have to be more careful, okay? Careful is another adjective, but that's why it's called extreme surfing, yeah? Okay, so that's me. They describe that extreme surfing is a sport, but it's dangerous. For that reason, the people that practice this kind of a sport, okay, have to be careful, yeah? And, okay, because the waves are high gear, okay, and this one are powerful, but the people that practice this sport feel exciting, yeah, okay, because they like it, they like to practice this sport. So let's see, you underline the adjectives, yeah, so we have a strong, extreme, great, big, high gear, okay, we have powerful, exciting, dangerous, careful, yes, okay, but what is the difference in this, uh, let me see, paragraph, if we see all the adjectives. Okay, some of them are short and the other ones are long. Yeah, you know that short adjectives, uh, let me see, uh, we have maybe one or two syllables. This one are short adjectives. We consider that word short adjectives because they, they have only one or two syllables. But if you have more than two syllables, okay, in an adjective, that's mean this one is long. Okay, for example, in this paragraph, what do you think are the short adjectives in this paragraph? Remember, we underline, okay, tell me what are the short adjectives? Okay, so let's practice the syllables, yeah? So we say that it's strong, only one, yes? Okay, that's mean this one is short, yeah? If we say extreme, how many syllables? Extreme, how many syllables do you hear? One, two, three. Okay, so you tell me. Okay, two, exactly. So this one is short. Okay, we consider short, extreme, yeah? Great, 
How many syllables? Great. Okay, only one, exactly. This one is short. Okay, so let's see, big. How many syllables? Big. Okay, only one, exactly. So let's see, next one. Hi, girl. How many syllables? Hi, girl. Two, exactly. So it's short. Next one. Powerful. How many syllables? Powerful. Three, okay. So this one is long because we have three syllables. Yeah, okay. Next one. Exciting. Exciting. Okay, three, one more time. That's mean this one is a long adjective. Next one, dangerous. Okay, dangerous. What is that? Two or three? Okay, dangerous. Let me get is that dangerous. Okay, three. <laughs> exactly. So this one is long. Next one, careful. Careful. How many syllables? Two. Exactly. Okay. So let's see. In that form, you okay learned, or maybe you identify when an adjective is short and then when an adjective is long. If you count the syllables, yes. Okay. So let's see. Let's continue. Let me pass to the next part. Okay. So now we complete with adjectives from the article. So we classify short adjectives and long adjectives. So we have the short adjectives in this list. We have big, great, high, strong. Yeah, this one are short, but right now we complete with long adjectives. So you listen, okay, and you check or you write it, yeah? Track 22, listen and check. Extreme. Powerful. Exciting. Dangerous. Careful. Okay, so this one are long adjectives, yeah? Let's listen one more time and we we'll discover. Track 22, listen and check. Extreme. Okay, extreme. So this one is the first one, yeah? Extreme. Powerful. Okay, so we have powerful. Exciting. Okay, exciting. Dangerous. Okay, dangerous. Careful. Okay, and we have careful, yeah? This is gonna the long adjective, extreme, powerful, exciting, dangerous, and careful, yes? Okay, so this one are long. If you see the syllables, we have more syllables than in short adjective, yeah? Okay. Excellent. So you tell me when you complete this part, yeah? Okay, good. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Carlos. Okay, excellent. You're done. Good. Yeah, this one is an easy exercise, yeah? Okay. Okay, excellent. So you finish, good job. Okay, let's continue, yes? Okay, so right now we classify this part. We have a lot of adjectives here, yeah? So we have short adjectives and long adjectives. So let me see, okay. The first one, the right, uh, okay, in the chat, okay, if, if it is a girl or a boy, yeah, you obtain one point. So let's see, the new, short or long? New, okay, if you consider that this one is a short adjective, you write S. If this one is long, you write L, yeah? Okay, S or L. So let's see, I tell you the adjective, okay, and you write S or L, it's the pen, yeah? Okay, new. Short or long? 
Okay, Carlos Arias, short, good. You have one point. Okay, let me write here, yes. Okay, I write here, boys. And I write in that part, girls, yes. Okay, so let's see, girls. So that's mean boys obtain the first point, yeah. Okay, boys, one. Let's see, next one. Mm, beautiful, short or long? Let me see the first one that were in chat. Beautiful, beautiful, okay. Short or long, beautiful. <laughs> okay, this one is beautiful, short or long, okay. Let's check long. So let's see. Okay, this one is a point for girls. Next one. Happy, short or long? Happy. Okay, happy. Okay, short. Harrison, you are the first one. Point, voice. Next one. Let's see. Talented. Talented. Short or long? Talented, okay, long, boys. <laughs> you are the first one, good. Next one, uh, dry, dry, short or long? Okay, Carlos Alberto, <laughs> okay. So let me see girls, please. Honest, honest, short or long? Okay, Carlos Alberto, one more time. So you have five points, okay. Next one, intelligent intelligent short or long okay so let's see oh my god okay wait so let's see okay so you say that this one is long exactly thank you adriana okay long next one okay fast fast short or long fast okay the first one that i have here is let me see. Okay, Carlos Alberto. Let's see one point. Next one. Um, adorable. Adorable. Okay, adorable. Carlos. Okay, one more time. Okay, thank you, Marianne. Next one. Soft. Oh no, I tell you this one. Uh, let me see. Curious. 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 Okay, this one is short or long? Curious. How many syllables? Curious. Okay, this one are only two, but okay, it's long. So, girls. Next one. Let's see. Okay. Let me check. Shy. This one, shy. Okay, Carlos, Adriana, same time. So, let's see one and one. Yeah. Okay, next one. Famous, famous. Okay, Carlos and Marianne. <laughs> okay, so let's see. And the last one. Let's see. Okay, ugly. Ugly, short. Okay, Harrison. So let's see. Boys, 10 points, and girls, 5 points. Yeah, in that case, the boys are the winners. Okay, excellent. <laughs> Good job. So I know that you enjoy this practice, yeah? Okay, excellent. So let's see, let's continue. We have this one that is a sun. So let's listen. You have the sun on page 26, yeah? Okay, let's listen the sun. Track 23. Listen and chant. Hurricane. It's more dangerous than before. More destructive, that's for sure. <laughs> more powerful, there's no doubt. There's a hurricane about. Please remember, don't forget. Don't panic or get upset. <laughs> Just stay calm and keep your cool. 
because that's the most important rule. Okay, so let's see. I see some of you, yeah, that are singing and also try to dance. Okay, excellent. So let's see. Be careful, people shout, yeah. A hurricane's about. It's more dangerous than before, more destructive, that's for sure. More powerful, there's no doubt. There's a hurricane about. Please remember, don't forget, don't panic or get upset. Just stay calm and keep your cool because that is the most important rule. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, you are incredible. Excellent. So let's see. And you are powerful. Okay, so let's continue. Track 23. One more time. Listen and chant. Hurricane. Okay, we try to sing, yeah? More dangerous, more dangerous than, than before. before. More, more destructive. destructive. That's, That's for, for sure. sure. More powerful. More powerful there's, there's no, no doubt. doubt. There's a hurricane about. about. Please remember, remember don't, don't forget. forget. Don't, don't panic, panic or get upset. upset. Just stay calm remember and keep, keep your, your cool. cool. Because, because that's, that's the most important, important rule. rule. Okay. Excellent. So let's see. You have this song on your CD? Yeah, you can check on it. Yes. Okay. You can practice at home if it is possible. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So let's continue. Next part. And this one is the last exercise. Yeah. Okay, surfing is more dangerous than sailing. In that case, okay, when you use a long adjectives similar to this one, dangerous, okay, and if you compare two things, you use the word more, yeah? Surfing is more dangerous than, okay? So when you compare two things, you use the word more and then. Some sports are more extreme than others, okay? So that's mean you compare, okay? So... Let's see. Now, in that case, we'll listen and we'll write a comparison. So you have two sports here. You have basketball, golf, and the first adjective that is exciting. So we compare and we use the two sports and also the adjective. In that case, it's alone. So you listen and you try to complete. Yeah. Track 20. Okay. I'm sorry. Four. Listen and write the comparisons. What's your favorite sport, basketball or golf? It's basketball. Basketball is more exciting than golf. Golf is boring. Do you like surfing? No, I don't. I like playing tennis. Surfing is more dangerous than tennis. <laughs> What's more popular in your school, soccer or judo? Soccer, soccer is, is more, more popular, popular than, than judo, judo, of course. Okay, so you listen and we compare, yeah? The first one is that, okay, basketball is more exciting than golf. Then we have surfing is more dangerous than tennis. And soccer is, most popular, is more popular than judo, yeah? Okay. Track 24. Listen and write the comparisons. What's your favorite sport, basketball or golf? It's basketball. Basketball is more exciting than golf. Golf is boring. Do you like surfing? No, I don't. I like playing tennis. Surfing is more dangerous than tennis. <laughs> What's more popular in your school, soccer or judo? Soccer, soccer is, is more popular, popular than, than judo, judo, of course. Okay, so this going to are the sentences. Yes, we compare two sports in that case. Yeah, okay, so basketball is more exciting than golf. Surfing is more dangerous than tennis and soccer is more popular than judo. 
Yeah. Okay, we're finishing that part. Thank you very much for participating a lot and for paying attention. I see you the next week. Yeah. Okay. Enjoy the rest of the week and